So hello everyone, uh, in this video I will be explaining the problem equal sum arrays with minimum number of operations. So this problem is a little bit tougher than medium because there are several instances in while solving the problem that you can go wrong and in fact I was also able to solve this problem only after the contest uh, because I, uh, I was doing a mistake. So. Uh, without any further ado let's get into the problem so basically the in the problem i have been given two vectors and i can do op an operation and change any one of the characters between one and six and i have to make the sum of these two numbers uh, vectors equal okay so i will be explaining this problem first bef uh, before coding i will be explaining this problem with the help of this test case so this is a fairly large test case so what happens is that uh, after you sort this particular test case you will uh, get something like this okay so this is the vector one and i have sorted it vector one will look like this and this is vector two and after sorting it will look like this okay so the sum of vector one is around 863 and the sum of vector two is 183 something okay so what i have to do i know this because i have solved this okay so what is the idea so the main objective of solving this problem is such that I have to reduce 863 and increase the sum of 183 uh, and I have to do this until they are equal. Okay. So what is the best way to do this? So the best way to decrease 863 will be to start from end. Okay. So I will start from end. So this is 6. So what can I do? I can convert it into one. Okay. So what will this, this will uh, result in a loss of five points. Okay. Just say eight points. Okay. So it will, 863 will become 855. And what else I can do is that I, I will make a pointer here and this is one. I can increase it to six. So this will result in uh, an increase of five. Okay. So I can do any of them. Uh, so let's uh, just do this. So what will happen is that uh, this is resulting in a change of five points. Okay. So now I will just keep on reducing this one, 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 one. And until this point, uh, the change that is coming in eight, six, the sum is a five. But if I come at this five, what will uh, happen is that if I make it one, the total change in the points will be of only four. Okay. So at this point, it is no more fruitful for me to change. Uh, the numbers in this vector it will be better for me that i change uh, start from here because this will result this will reduce the gap by five okay so th this is a better idea so i will just keep on going uh, till this because this is reducing the gap by five then i again come at two okay at this point my gap will start getting reduced by four from here so i will again switch back to my uh, number one array uh, the array number one and i will just use all of them all of them uh, till here because this is reducing the gap by four now i will come at here and again my gap uh, redu reduction will be dropped by three so at this time i should start from here uh, because this will result in four okay so you have to do this this change between number one and number two and uh, such that and at and every time you just uh, use an operation you increment the operation count and uh, at, by doing this at some point of time uh, this 863 will be equal to 183 okay so oh, not uh, like they will have a middle ground that middle ground is 303 okay i know it because i have solved this problem so now let's uh, code it so the first part of coding the problem will be just let me zoom in a little bit okay so the first part is going to be sorting the uh, what sorting the vectors so nums one dot size comma nums uh, sorry nums one dot begin oh, i'm sorry begin bitcoin begin nums one dot end and oh, okay and then again i have to sort the second vector control c control v nums2 dot begin nums2 dot end so i have sorted them now after uh, that what i will do is that i will uh, create two vectors int s1 is equal to 0 int s2 is equal to 0 this is basically the sum of these two vectors now i will calculate the sum for int i is equal to 0 i less than nums1 dot size and what i will do is that uh, sorry 
i plus plus and s1 plus equals to nums 1 i and uh, i will calculate this is the sum 1 and again i will call the sum 2 okay so i have created the uh, calculated the sums s2 and this will also be 2 okay now what i will do is that i will just write a condition that if s1 is equal to s2 then i will return 0 that no operations are required return 0 and i will make another function called solve which will help me solve this function so what i am going to do is that if s1 uh, so since i have to choose that from which one i have to begin so i am making a function such that i will uh, or the number uh, the array that has higher sum will always be nums1 so to ensure that what i will do is that int s1 is greater than uh, s2 then what i will do is that i will make a function return solve solve nums nums1 comma nums2 comma what s1 comma s2 and if that is not the case then i will do return solve solve nums nums2 comma nums1 comma s2 comma s1 so the sole purpose of this condition is that the my the vector which has a larger sum comes at the first position so that's the only purpose and now what i will do is that i will make my int solve function solve and i will just pass in these vectors so control c control v comma int s1 comma int s2 okay so uh, I, after i have entered the solve function uh, what is my first objective is that first i have to ensure that is it really possible to equate these sums or not okay so to check that what i will do is that just ex uh, for example this is a vector and this is a vector okay its maximum range can be say r2 and its minimum can be uh, l1 okay uh, and its maximum can be r2 sorry its maximum can be r1 and its minimum can be l1 okay so you know if that uh, r uh, if this l1 is always less than r2 that this is the one with the lower sum then it will no, never be possible to uh, to find a middle ground between them okay so what i am going to write here is that if l1 uh, sorry i will just make uh, int l1 is equal to nums1 dot size uh, nums1 dot size into 1 so this will be the least possible value that can be obtained from nums1 okay and int r2 will be nums2 dot size into 1 6 uh, into 6 into 6 okay so what this means that for example uh, if this was the case of 863s and suppose there are like 100 characters so its minimum possible reduction can be till it can go down till 100 okay and if i can if if i use uh, everything in this 183 suppose this 183 was 10 the sum was 10 and if the maximum that i can go is like 98 using uh, in this vector 2 then i will never be able to find a middle ground between vector 1 and vector 2 so in this case i will return minus 1 so if if r2 is less than l1 then just simply return minus 1 that it is not possible i just uh, suggest that you just uh, pause this video and uh, just do some calculation to realize this now uh, begins my interesting part so the interesting part is that i will be doing what i told you in the beginning just let me just go back a few st uh, steps and clear this uh, okay okay so i will uh, what i will do is that i will make a pointer int i is equal to nums1 dot size minus 1 and i will make another pointer int j is equal to 0 and i will make the number of operation ops is equal to 0 now what i will do is that while i is greater than equal to zero or or j is less than what nums two dot size i will run this while loop 
and in between this i will do something and and in the end i will return the total number of operations okay so now basically what i have done till now is that i have uh, just let me change the color so what i have done this i have put a pointer here and i will i have put a pointer over here okay so that's what i have done so now uh, what i have to do is that i will make two variables uh, so before that if s1 is less than s2 at any point if s1 is less than s2 then what i will do less than or equal to less than or equal to s2 then i will just break okay uh, because you know my uh, d list uh, i have found a middle ground basically so just i will make two variables int change one change one is equal to minus one and int change two is equal to minus one so what this change represents is that i will uh, change uh, says that uh, the total uh, diff, uh, the total uh, distance that the, they will reduce between them okay so initially this is one okay minus one so if i is greater than equal to zero then what what this means is that change one uh, can be will be absolute of what nums one uh, i minus one okay and you know you don't really need to put that absolute function here <laughs> i just put it so if j is less than nums two dot size uh, then uh, what i what the change uh, can be is that change 2 is equal to change 2 is equal to absolute of uh, what 6 minus nums 2j okay so basically this what this means is that uh, here if i am here then the maximum change that the difference between these two initial sums that can be arised is 5 okay 5 and change 1 means also five okay and uh, the purpose of uh, assigning minus one in the beginning is that because uh, since it's it may happen that i uh, my vector one is completely used okay so if my vector one is completely uh, used then my change one will always be negative one so i will never use my vector one to uh, like further reduce the distance so it will be a little more clear as i code it so if change 1 1 is greater than equal to change 2 change 2 so you know now it will be clear that why it is minus 1 so suppose if my uh, uh, the vector 1 is finished okay vector 1 is finished then what will happen is that i will my change 1 will always remain minus 1 because i will never enter this if condition so that's the purpose so if change 1 is less than equal to change 2 then what will happen is that s1 will become s1 minus nums 1 i and plus 1 okay so it will reduce the initial value and add 1 to it and i will just change my uh, i pointer else if change 2 is greater than change 1 then what will happen is that s2 is equal to s2 minus nums 2 i plus 6 okay so you i hope it is clear to you that what is happening just i am just making this 1 to 6 and reducing minus 1 so that is the thing that i am doing and i will increase j plus plus and at the end i will also increase my operation count ops plus plus so you know that's the problem for you so i think this solves the problem so let's just run this code and hope if i have not done any syntax errors so there is some syntax error or uh, just let me just have a look at it once again you know nums1 and nums2 can be can get a little confusing so sorry i had to write j here instead of i uh, okay so finished 184 184 okay so let me submit it so it is accepted so just let me show you one more interesting thing so to visualize it more what i can do is that c out uh, ops comma ops comma dot comma uh, sorry s1 mm, s2 endl okay so now you will see what is happening okay 
so you see that at pos when the operation count is zero the sum these are the sums okay so initially i start reducing from the back uh, from the n vector one so i keep it keep reducing it okay until uh, this point this point uh, the it is only uh, after this it will reduce uh, by four points only so i will start reducing from second vector okay so now this is uh, reducing reducing sometimes it is reducing from vector one sometimes it's from vector two so at the end i find the middle ground after 1884 positions okay so if the problem is super clear to you please consider subscribing this channel so thank you and have a nice day